We were pretty closely linked to the real beginning of computing. The system we used was all very, very uh, cutting edge. The Apollo guidance computer was replacing banks of computers that filled the whole room. Well, I have a lot bigger computer here than they had to land on the moon. The guidance computer was really an advance, and the only way to get the, the weight and the size down was to go to integrated circuits. That's something that hadn't been done before. Early on in the program, it was recognized that you could not build a computer out of transistors without filling up the whole command module and the lunar module with transistors. I mean, it was just not, not conceivable. Integrated circuits were the way to go. I've heard that at one time we were testing one third of all the integrated circuits that were being manufactured in the United States. There was a Mac language that was developed here at the laboratory, an ex exquisite engineering language. It was critical that the command module on the LEM be able to compute solutions for manures. People today can't believe it. It was all done with punch cards and key punches. Most kids today don't know what a punch card looked like. You programmed it, you went in and punched it on a key punch, and then put a batch of cards and ran it through a card reader. You had to make sure they were done right, no little errors, no cards out of order, and so on. And at the end of the whole process, you put a rope memory out that flew on the craft. Copper wires were woven through rope cores, and it looked like a rope with nodules on it and we went to the moon with a cubic foot and almost 3,600 words of erasable memory, a wire rope memory, which you couldn't change once you did it. The software that we developed to control these vehicles, the command module, the lunar module, and the combinations of those things, that had never been done with a digital computer up to that point in time. It was an enormous amount of testing to do because at that point you were testing a complete sequence from the lunar orbit, the descent to landing on the moon. That was about a two hour computer run. We had simulated the dickens out of that thing. We used a, a, a lot of simulations. We wanted to make sure that either the command module could get the LEM or the LEM could get back to the command module. Leaving the moon and going back to lunar orbit is actually a relatively easy maneuver. It didn't place really great demands on the guidance computer, but the lunar landing did. It was by far the busiest phase of the mission for either spacecraft. So during the lunar landing, squeezing everything that needed to be done into that limited time was our greatest challenge. All of the missions were flown in Apollo the software always performed the way it was supposed to. The computer design, which rock solid and never suffered a failure in all the missions, I mean, amazing. To think of that, that's possible. The memory on the lunar module computer came to about 156,000 kilobytes, which by today's standards, of course, is minuscule. It is kind of miraculous to me that we actually did it. The angle has landed. computer system worked every time we asked it to. It just was a remarkable period of time. <laughs>